This is the long diction video for Mahler Symphony No. 2, starting at measure 472. Remember, we're looking for one vowel per note with the smallest of diphthongs pushed all the way to the right. Auferstehen. Now, we have two kinds of E's in German. We'll experience both. First is the closed E, which you just heard. Erstein. It's kind of like a Canadian A. Then there's the open E. Uh, like Ernten or Herr. We'll hear that later. This starts with a closed E. Auferstein. Now, you notice that the U of the Auf is put as far to the right in the music as I can get it. And then the N is voiced. There's no N at the end. Ja, auferstehen. So the Ja is just like an E, A, Ja. V's substitute for W's in German. So you have Wirst du. Say, wirst du. And I want a dotted eighth, sixteenth figure. Wirst du. Mein Staub. The S in Staub is an SH sound, and the B sounds as a P. Nach. Here we have the Ach laut. It's the same as the composer Bach. There's another kind of laut, the Ich laut, and that is like a cat hissing. In this case, nach. Nach kurzer Ruhe. Kurzer Ruhe. If you're not a roller, then be a flipper. Kurzer Ruhe. Ruhe. A soft D kind of gliding onto it. Bottom of the first page. Unsterblich Leben. Unsterblich leben. There's our first ich laut sound. Lich leben. Lich leben. It's not lich leben. Lich leben. You hear that? Like the hissing of a cat. Unsterblich leben. We have the same wie dir figure at pick up to 487. So a reef like a coral reef. Never an er sound in German. We never want that American R. Er, no er. Reef, either flip or roll. Reef. Reef. Note I didn't say dear geben. Dear geben. It's almost like two vowels. Dia, dia, ia, dia geben, dia geben. So going over the first part one more time. I speak, then you speak. Auferstehen. Your turn. Ja, auferstehen. Wie ist du mein Staub? Nach kurzer Ruhe. Next entrance. Unsterblich leben. Unsterblich leben. Wird der dich rief? Dich rief dir geben. Let's move on to the next entrance. Here again, the W in German sounds as a V. 
wieder aufzublühen. Let me break that down. Wieder, not wieder. No er sound. Auf is the same as auferstehen. And then zu. So the Z's in German have a TS sound. Zu and then blühen. That is an umlaut sound. Make an E sound inside your mouth. E with an U lip. Ü. Auf zu blühen. A way to practice that is say soup du jour. Because in French we have soup ou du, the umlaut sound, and then jour and ou. It's difficult to go back and forth. Soup du jour. Say it. Soup du jour. Auf zu blühen. Wirst du gesät? Here the S sounds like a Z. Gesät. And the umlaut over the A creates an opening of that A sound. So gesät. Say it. It's kind of like the gesät, like a, like a, a paper you would see. Wieder auf zu blühen, wirst du gesät. Practice that. Bottom of the page. Two close, one closed E, then an open E, then a closed E, then an open E. This is tricky and you'll have to practice it. Der Herr, der Ernte, der Herr, Dear Ernte. So it's closed E, opening. Closed E, opening. Dear Herr, dear Ernte. Dear Herr, dear Ernte geht. Und sammelt. So here the S sounds again as a Z. Und sammelt Garben. Uns ein, die starben. So the S here sounds as an SH. If you want to rule, if the S starts a word and it's followed by a vowel, it's a Z sound. If it has a consonant after it, it's a SH sound. Starben sammelt. Let's do that whole section starting at 512. Wieder auf zu blühen. Wirst du gesät? Wieder auf zu blühen, wirst du gesät? Der Herr, der Ernte. Der Herr, der Ernte geht und sammelt Gaben. Uns ein die Starben. Let's go to our next entrance at measure 617. Was entstanden ist. Very important that the S is not put on the Va, but it's put on the Ent. So Va sent. Say it. Va sent. Va sent standen. Say it. Va sent standen. Ist. Not east, not the direction, but ist. Das muss vergehen. Das muss vergehen. It's not muss. It's not the animal. It's a muss. Like I must get this right. Was vergangen. Here the F sounds, here the V in German sounds as an F. Was vergangen? Auferstehen, in a, a familiar word. So going back to 617. Was entstanden ist? Das muss vergehen. Was vergangen? Auferstehen. Measure 629. Hör. The O umlaut is an unusual sound. It's almost like we would say, duh, hör, hör auf 
zu beben. That's a closed E. Hör auf zu beben. Here it's important. Bereite dich. Bereite dich. The rai is the stressed syllable that must come out. Zu leben ends that phrase. We're fast forwarding to measure 671. Mit die ich. So here I want that yam bata feeling of the T. Mit flu. Say it. Mit flu. Mit flügen die ich mir errungen. Rungen, not rungen, but rungen with some space inside your mouth. And then werde, close the E. Ich entschweben. That's an ich laut. Ich entschweben. Not ich, not like a sh. Ich entschweben. I'll do that whole line. Mit Flügen, die ich mir errungen, werde ich entschweben. We'll do that a million times, but it, getting a little bit of practice here is going to be important. Let's move forward to measure 696 for the big finale. Here you want to get as open and rich of a sound as you possibly can. Measure 696. Sterben wird ich, um zu leben. Sterben wird ich, I'm sorry. Sterben wird ich, um zu leben. And we'll put a big sh shadow vowel on the second to last measure of that page 13. Leben. No. Same line at 704. Sterben ich um zu leben. We'll try to put a schwa on there and we'll see if it works out I reserve the right to take it out. Measure 712, you take it home. Auferstehen, ja, auferstehen, wirst du mein Herz in einem Nu. All right, now, you've already said that in the beginning, but this is a completely different way to do it, so keep everything open and rich. Next bit at 720, we're almost done. Was du geschlagen? There's an SH sound with an L attached. Something to practice. Was du geschlagen? Zu Gott, zu Gott. Remember, it's not an animal, it's not a goat. It's a Gott. Zu Gott wird es dich. There, we're elongating the vowel as long as we possibly can. Zu Gott wird es dich tra. Hear what I did there? You're going to have to stagger through that whole phrase. What I must insist on is that you don't put an individual consonant where you are stopping the sound early. Instead, take that consonant and put it on the next syllable. Instead of zu Gott wird es Dich. Instead of that, do zu Gott wird es dich tra. Get the idea? The last phrase, zu Gott wird es dich tragen. It should be really, really amazing. If you practice this and work through this a couple times and then go to the short video for review, you're going to be in great shape. Auf Wiedersehen.